Do you find creating charts in SwiftUI to be hard? Well, not anymore, because in this tutorial we are going to tackle charts in SwiftUI with the help of an awesome GitHub repository. We are going to build out a line chart, multiple line charts, bar charts, and of course, pie charts. So hit that subscribe button, open up Xcode, and let's dive in. So let's check out charts in SwiftUI. We are going to take a look at AppPair's chart view and we are going to use Swift Package Manager to install it. Quick word before that, take a look at rebelloper.com slash mentoring so you can have a mentoring session with me uh, on uh, anything that you really want to know about iOS development. Go ahead and check out developer.com slash mentoring. So let's get into the tutorial and we are going to start off with a brand new Xcode project. So let's open up Xcode and let's go and um, yeah, let's just uh, create a new Xcode project. Now this is going to be a Swift project, Swift UI project. So uh, let's just see. Before, after I just resize this, we are going to select app. Let's click on next here. Chart view demo. Uh, make sure that the interface is Swift UI and the life cycle is also Swift UI app. Okay, so let's click on next here and let's drop it somewhere on the, the desktop. Make sure that we create a Git repository on my Mac because I am going to create a uh, a repository on GitHub, go ahead and check out the link down in the description where you have all the resources and the link available. Okay, nice. So, uh, yeah, here we have our content view and uh, we have our chart view demo app. Now, what we want to do first is just simply add the dependency. So Swift packages, go to project, Swift packages, click on the plus sign. And what you want to do is grab the HTTPS URL of chart view. Okay, let's just paste it in there, click on next here, and let's just wait for it. Make sure that you are using version 1.5.4. Version two is also coming up. I will create a brand new tutorial on that also. Okay, so let's click on next here. And uh, yeah, let's just wait for it. Till then, make sure to check out the link in the description and download the resources. We have here some dummy data like the charts data and the chart style. I will go through them uh, once we drag and drop them into our project. Okay, so now that we got our library added there, let's just click on finish and um, let's just drag and drop our charts data and chart style files. Okay, and click on finish. Let's just take a look at that. So first of all, we have a chart style. I will uh, go through the chart style once we create a chart. And uh, yeah, this is just a mentoring style and charts data, we have title, legend, value specifier. Uh, yeah, all of that data, we will see that data displayed on the chart in uh, just a second. So yeah, let's go to content view and let's move this out of the way. And uh, maybe let's have our uh, canvas here, let's resume. And uh, while that's resuming, let's import Swift UI charts. So that is what you want to uh, import. Okay, let's resume again. Let's see uh, this canvas already here. And what we are going to do is just remove the text and uh, yeah, let's just add a new line view. Let's just try here. Yeah, it will fail because I removed the text view. So I am just going to add in a line view and hopefully we will see that in the canvas. So line view, let's select that, that one. And we are going to use the longer version. So you can just uh, add in here some data, but I'm just going to go with the legend style and value specifier. So I can just uh, go on uh, rambling about all of the details. So the data, we, are, we need an array of doubles, which we can find in the data structure that we have. And I will just use data zero. Title, that is the title again in the uh, data structure dot title this is a string and the legend is also a string dot legend now the style uh let's go with style 
and mentoring. Okay, value specifier, data dot value specifier. Okay, and uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, let's just make this a little smaller so we can see it better. There we go. How awesome is that? We have sales here, mentoring, and here we have our values, and uh, we have our uh, chart styled accordingly. Now, we will take a look at this uh, uh, style in just a second. Let's just add simply a padding here. I don't really like that. It's all the way uh, to, the, uh, to the margins of our screen. Okay, so let's take a look at this style. There we go, chart style. We have a background color that is black of opacity 0.05. We can have an accent color that is yellow. Currently it's not uh, seeable, but we will see that in later charts. Uh, we have a gradient color. Uh, it starts from green opacity 0.5 and it ends with green. You can change this as you want. We can have a text color, black, that is for the title, uh, legend text color for the legend and drop shadow color dot black. And basically that is it. Uh, let's just move this a little bit further and resume. And here you go. Black color, gray color, again, the background gray color. We have uh, this gradient for the chart uh, values. As you can see, this is with the opacity. This is with, without the opacity of a grid. And the value specifier, well, uh, this chart, it's coming uh, if we just try to, let's just uh, run this. If we just try to scale, skim through the chart, you will see that that is USD. How awesome is that? Now, this is just a simple line chart uh, view, but there's still more to come. We have multi-chart, uh, multi-line chart, bar chart, and pie chart. So let's start, uh, let me just comment this out and uh, let's add a multi-line chart view. So multi, line chart view. There we go. And again, we are going to use the longer initialization so you can uh, learn what all of this does. Now, the multi-line chart view uh, grabs uh, free data here in my case. So go ahead and check out the data structure of how this data is structured. Basically, we have an array of doubles and the gradient color for that line. So I would just go data.multiline there we go, uh, data.title for the title, data.title, there we go, data.legend, and uh, style, here we go, style.mentoring. Now, uh, here we have some form. Now, the form uh, is the size of our chart. You could add in a CG size here, but I'm going to use the chart form uh, struct that has details, uh, small, medium, large, extra large. You can take a look at that. So uh, chart uh, form dot, I will use a detail here. It looks uh, really nice when we are using detail here. Now go ahead and check out the other chart forms because some values or elements might be added or missing in them. So yeah, rate value. Now the rate value, is uh, uh, like, uh, did it go up or did it go down? And you will see this in just a second. So I will just go here, data dot rate value, and that is a positive value of, I believe, 57. Now, if we gave it an integer of minus 57, that would go down. Just make sure that you do that. So drop shadow, let's use drop shadow. You can disable it by adding, setting this to false. Value specifier, again, data dot value specifier. Okay, so now it's a good time. Yeah, and it's uh, auto-completed. And now we can see that we, we have sales and mentoring, and this is our rate value. And here we have our three lines. Uh, how awesome is that? Okay, so that is multi-line chart view. Let's remove that and let's create a bar chart view. So bar chart view. Again, the longer one, uh, data. Uh, data uh, dot bar chart. Again, take a look at the what you have to add in for the array and so on for the bar chart. Title data dot title uh, legend data dot legend style style 
uh, not chart style but style come on there we go mentoring now you could create your own style of course and you could it, it doesn't have to be like this one now for the form i'm just going to go with the medium for now so uh, chart form dot medium uh, drop shadow through corner image now there will be a corner image and i will use the dollar sign so that would be an image and uh, system image so system name and uh, that is dollar sign dollar sign i believe it's circle and fill circle dot fill we'll see and uh, let me just move this a little bit more up so you can see better the value specifier again data dot value specifier that is usd and there we go we have sales this is mentoring this is our corner image and uh, if we just skim through it you will see the values of, of year uh, 2018 quarter four quarter one of the 19 and so on how awesome is that really really nice okay so next up we have our um yeah pie chart oh well, that that is the last one <laughs> so pie chart and uh, this time around i am just going to use the data title and uh, yeah maybe let's add the legend there but i would just use this data dot pie data title data dot title and let's add the legend also so data dot legend now in this case it will use the default values and if we just skim through it you will see that we are changing to the relevant uh, value now if you, you can see that this is 88 32 so you don't have to be like in percentage like 100 percent you just add in your data and it will automatically calculate it now that is how simple it is to add charts uh, line view charts multiple line view charts bar charts pie charts into your swift ui apps that is how easy it is to add charts into your swift ui apps now if you did like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and while you are at it make sure to hit that notification bell to get notified of new videos as i release them while you are doing that, make sure to check out these videos as well too. I talk a lot about Swift, Swift UI in general, and as usual, I will see you in the next one.